Hey YouTube, it's me, Casey, back at it again, almost a year later again. So today I have something completely new for you guys. It's not an animation, obviously. So I've been sitting on this idea for like a year now, and I don't know, I just was like, I need to just get out there and do it. So here we are. So basically, the idea is I want to recreate paintings that are in movies and TV shows and stuff. I'm starting out with one I already did before. If you follow me on Twitter, you would have probably seen this. It was a couple years ago, I think. Um, and that would be the Always Sunny Hitler Dog painting. This painting is from Season 8, Episode 1 of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Pop Pop's Final Solution, I think is what it's called. Long story short, this was painted by Hitler in their universe. Well, anyways, so I'm starting with the background. I don't know, should I say what I'm doing? I don't know how to do this. I've never done a video like this before. If you're wondering if I'm done with animating, I'm not. And I'm actually gonna be making some animations for a different YouTuber sometime soon. So if you'd like to know anything about that, you can follow me on Twitter. I haven't made any story time animation videos because I don't have any stories. I've realized I'm not that interesting of a person, you guys. It's just hard to come up with all these stories and present them in an interesting way when I feel like I don't have any funny life stories, so you gotta do what you gotta do, aka not ever upload. Sorry. I'm honestly impressed with anybody who can still be coming up with stories because I cannot do that. However, I've not stopped drawing. In fact, I've gotten way better. I'm so embarrassed by the videos that are up on my channel, but I don't want to delete them because I feel like people can watch those videos and then look at how I've improved at art and it can be kind of inspiring. I don't know. My original painting that I did of this. It's smaller and I wanted to make this one bigger so it's more like the one that's in the show. My original was actually hung up in my final art gallery showing of high school. Honestly, a lot of people commented about how cute it was and they were like, oh, look at the cute dog. And I didn't want to tell them that like, it was painted by Hitler. So I was just like, yeah, thanks for telling me how cute the dog is. Like nobody got the reference. Shoot. Just drop paint on the floor. Hold on, I have to clean it up. What the heck? Okay, that's not good. I don't use this easel very often. Thankfully, there was already paint on the floor, so you can't even really tell. I did not know how to set this up so I could you could see everything. This is like an awkward angle to paint at, but I wanted to be in the frame, but also have the painting in the frame. I didn't know how to do it. Also, I don't have a camera or a tripod, so I'm using my phone like propped up in a different easel and it kind of works. I feel like there's so much paint on my face right now and I'm just smearing it around trying to get it off. I'd like to give a shout out to the furries because honestly painting hair and fur is harder than I remembered. I feel like this painting is interesting because it manages to be scary but also funny at the same time. I've gotta say, I almost filmed this whole video standing up. It took me a while to come up with the configuration and originally I was standing up but at this point, like by now, I don't think I could do it. Also, I would like to take a moment to show off the, my cups that I have today. We've got Hamilton and Wicked. Hopefully somebody can find enjoyment in that. Ah, that was an accident. Ah! Oh god, it's orange. Okay, well, we're just gonna let that dry.
fact that this dog has like literal black eyeliner <laughs> definitely makes it look more scary in my opinion. Alright, we are officially past the two hours of painting mark. I don't have that much left, so it looks like hopefully we can get this all done in one sitting. Okay, so right now it looks like all I really have to do is color the tongue and the inside of the ears, do the rest of the mouth, the grass, and like just fix up the background. So I'm mainly done. First time I saw this painting, I was so confused by the teeth. I thought that the teeth were like human teeth. So I was like, dang, the person who drew these dogs' teeth really don't know how teeth work. But now I realize that I saw it all wrong. And that's the bottom jaw. Those are like the bottom teeth. But it's still kind of weird though. All right. I think I am done. So let's take a moment to look at this beautiful work of art I have created. Also, I'm gonna get the old one out so we can look at them all together. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Right off the bat, they do look pretty different. The grass looks pretty different. I honestly feel like if I could combine these two paintings into one, it'd be exactly like Hitler's original. Overall, I think I did a pretty good job recreating this picture. So, you know, that's the end of this video. If you have any suggestions of what artwork from a movie or TV show that I should paint next or make next, I don't it doesn't have to be a painting, I guess. Let me know and I will keep them in mind. Until then, have a nice day, guys.